Science Central. This slow motion fly video shows why your swatter swing seems to leave only you feeling flat. Caltech fly experts devised this elaborate contraption to find out why flies are so hard to swat. Using a high-speed camera and this fruit fly swatting machine, Michael Dickinson and grad student Gwyneth Carr discovered that flies actually plan their escape. As soon as the fly sees the swatter um, falling towards it, it doesn't just jump into the air. It actually sort of rather coolly over the next uh, 100 thousandths of a second uh, moves its, its leg and, and reorients its, its body in preparation for the jump. This video reveals that preparation. The red arrow shows the direction of the swatter. In real time, the fly's takeoff looks instantaneous, but the slow motion replay shows the fly uses most of its time to carefully reposition its legs. Then, at the last possible moment, it jumps in the opposite direction of the swatter. They have tiny brains, but they're able to do extraordinary things with, with those brains. And while the researchers point out that they are really interested in how brains work and not how to swat flies, Card shares the word on the street about tackling flies in the kitchen. I guess a lot of people have been using the two-handed method, which fits exactly with what our research is saying. So if you approach the fly with two hands, one hand is likely to, say, be perceived by the fly first, and it's going to then jump away from that hand into the second hand. Now you know the sweet science of swatting flies. Sunita Reed, Science Central News.